Ontario's Public Elementary School Teachers Union is calling on Queen's Park to take action when it comes to helping kids with mental health issues. They claim that a lack of funding for mental health programs and special education are turning our classrooms into potentially dangerous spaces. We are seeing incidences of aggressive, disruptive student behavior in classrooms across the province that create serious challenge, challenges. The Elementary Teachers Federation of Ontario says violence against elementary school teachers and educational assistants is on the rise. The teachers union claims it's a consequence of a short supply of mental health and special education professionals. When a violent incident happens in a classroom, teaching and learning opportunities are interrupted. Injuries and illness can happen and staff and students may feel unsafe. And according to ETFO, those incidents are on the rise. In 2014, teacher assistants climbed their way to the top of the list for WSIB compensated lost time because of workplace violence, beating out correctional and police officers. The union says a lack of support for some of Ontario's most vulnerable learners is at least partly to blame. Supports have dropped. Absolutely supports have dropped. According to a People for Education report, only 17% of elementary school students have access to a guidance counsellor. There are 9,000 kids waiting for long-term psychotherapy. And according to Children's Mental Health Ontario, some are waiting one and a half years for treatment. The union is calling on the government to bolster access to these services, but today the education minister wouldn't commit to making any new investments in extra staff. We are working on the strategy right now in terms of well-being. It's one of the four priorities that we have and making sure that we have the supports in place for students uh, in terms of a focus on well-being. Words that seem to echo former education minister Liz Sandals' June commitment after a spat of tragic teen suicides ripped the rural Ontario town of Woodstock, leading to student walkouts and rallies. In terms of mental health, um, you know, the safety and the well-being of our students is a top priority for, for us. The short answer is that no new funding has made its way into greater access to mental health care services at schools. And while the minister says the government is working on a new strategy, the union says more students are falling through the cracks. We've got a serious, a serious, serious societal problem here that we need to deal with collectively. Ontario's education minister and the union will be meeting tomorrow to discuss new ways to better support both staff and students. Now, FO President Sam Hammond says he won't be asking for a specific amount of money to solve the problem, only that more resources are needed. Outside of Queen's Park, Christina Howarin, City News.